Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Microsoft Power Tools where you learn everything about analytics, automation and productivity. In this video, I'm going to show you the new feature in SharePoint list, also in Microsoft list, which allows you to create dashboard reports directly from SharePoint list. As you can see right now, you can visualize your list. I want to note this, that this is in target release in case you go to your tenant and you could not find this. I'm using a developer account and I've also activated my account for a target release. I believe it should be available now because this has been rolled out on a target basis since last month, in the month of May, later part of May. Alright, let's go straight. I have a sample data which I downloaded online. It was a CSV file, I saved it as an exe file and I exported it to SharePoint list directly from Microsoft Excel. The video link here shows you how to create a SharePoint list directly from Microsoft Excel. All right, right now it's about sales. You can see the different product ID, the customer, the date, the, the unit sold, the gross, the sisters, as well as the net. Let's go ahead and visualize this. You must also have Power BI license to use this. Let, let's click, click on integrate and power bi i'm going to click on visualize the list it asked me to sign in because this activity is actually taking place on power bi service so i need to click on sign in but because i'm already signing to my microsoft account it should automatically sign me in after clicking on the sign in and then create the dashboard you can see it automatically detected my user details and sign me in right now is creating the dashboard for us i'm excited i cannot wait to see what is going to come up here awesome do you see this we have all this without me doing anything all i did was to click on visualize the list and what i have here is a dashboard before me and there are so many things to talk about here but let's start from this is untitled but when I click on this date, I'm able to see the table that the list, uh, the dashboard is coming from. The list here is says table one. All right. Of course, it is untitled. And when you come towards this side, you can change the duration in terms of full screen or make it uh, the width. Or you can also change the contrast color here. Most importantly for accessibility. You now you can see the color will change and you can also change it back to none. All right. Having said that, what actually happened here is a, there's an intelligent build into this solution that looks into that data and summarizes it. You know, takes the numeric value, you know, the value that believes, okay, this should be of great interest. Take those numeric values, summarize them, do date hierarchy, create a table, and just have the value there. And that's what we have. By the way, you can actually edit. When I click on this edit, you take me to the proper Power BI report where I'm able to customize, build new um, measures, and put everything together. But mind you, once you do that, you'll not be able to get back to this environment that we are in right now. So <clears throat> let's just focus on this. You can see that the gross table, a sort of card, has been created for gross. And under that, we can see the total gross in terms of uh, amount. We can see the month. December, November, October, you can see the customer ID, you can see the product ID. Um, maybe I'm interested in net, I can add net. I've click on net and you can see now a division again, I have net. All these variables also created, summarized for net. For these values, I can actually, how about Unisold? Let's add Unisold. Uh, okay, I've actually, I've reached the maximum number of, uh, of, of measures. So I don't need six stars, to be honest. I need to take that out and rather click on the unit sold. So unit sold is here now. So I'm interested in what's the gross, what's the net, what's the unit sold. Okay. So let's then look at it. So it has detected that this guy is actually measures and this is the date hierarchy. I think I, I prefer month. Okay, if you want to put day or year, you can actually filter it into that. You can see the customer ID as well. We actually don't need customer ID. So I can take it out. So the chart has reduced. Everything is feeding from this summarize. Okay, we're still coming back. I'm going to show you how to um, filter this using this session here to filter your report. So over to publish, publish to list. I'll be able to publish this data, this report now to list and people can easily consume it from there. All right. 
see if i click on publish to list it's asking me to name my report i'm going to call this general overview i'm going to call it general overview so i'm going to click on publish so right now the report has been published as general overview what that means is from my sharepoint list let me refresh in case the changes are not synchronized so i've refreshed right now if i click on this integrate come to power bi i, I should be able to see okay great you can see now it has taken effect i have a general overview instead of saying visualize the list you can click on general overview just take you straight to that report that has been built we are answering business questions you may come back here and that's where that's the next thing i'm, I'm particular about the the net sold so i'm going to click on this product or particularly this particular i'm clicking on month right now and when i come to this filter i'm going to expand filter so filter is already here and i can see month maybe i'm not even interested in month Let, let's go back to product id here i am now once i click on product id the filter here will also be changing and um, i'm interested in the net yes i want to see maybe the top 10 maybe the you know the normal way we classify our product so i'm going to come here you can see not less than greater than just to classify just to filter rather and of course you can same way either you're using two conditions but okay let's say because right now i don't have average how can i know the average gross so i can easily average net i can click on this net i'm on this net i can locate net here and use this option to change it to average instead of sum or average let's go to average so that i can see okay what's the average net is actually 66 let me check how many sales how many products sales are below the average and how many are above let me just see those reports so i'm going to click on this guy under this net and here i'm going to say um less than let's just say is greater than 66 anything greater than 66 Okay, so I'm going to apply. So you see, this guy will be fitted. It's not fitted. You can see the product that actually greater than 60, 66. Now, instead of publish to list, it's just going to, it will update the previous list report with this particular one. And we don't want that. So I can come to file and save a copy. And this time I can call it um, above average. But remember, we coded this average, so I can call it 66 above average 66 yeah because that's actually the average now in case you are making more sales and data is coming in the average can actually change is actually changing so let's assume at this point we are putting it as above average um, and it's 66 i'm going to click on publish so this additional data well i mean this new report now above average will also be published and i'll be able to see it right here so while i'm refreshing that let's go ahead and also create another one for below average so just right here changing this guy to is less than 66 and i'm going to click on apply that way this is affecting only the average line not the gross and this has changed now we can see all these guys are below 66 and i've applied it i'm going to come here save a copy i'm going to say products i just got product below okay average yeah product below average i'm going to click on publish so this has also been published i'm going to come back here let me refresh so that i can capture all of them the implication is everyone that i share this sharepoint list with that have access to it the these people should also have power bi license otherwise they will not be able to consume this report they need the power bi pro license to consume it but the free version of power bi can help you to create but any report that i publish here the, for them to consume they need actually to have a power bi license when i click on power bi you see it's right now okay we have it now so all of it if i go to above average it's going to open open it up and it will lead me straight to that particular report which is above average while that is opening up i'm also going to if i come back here because i already have the below average this overview actually this below average if i refresh you can use this button as well to refresh sort of refresh your data and this you can help you to add it to favorite so that you can also see it on your power bi service account when you log in fully the okay i've talked about delete edit i've talked about publish to list and the file you can print this page in normal printing and you can see this table is generated for you of course this table is also generated of course you can expand the columns 
yeah even though there's limit to what you can do here if you compare to the usual power bi report where you can even increase the size format the columns this is not about that remember it is about visualization it's about business intelligence and you don't need to take that time you don't need to create all the possible charts before you can get this insight as you can see right here with the click of a button we're able to see these things it has saved you the time to start racking your brain or start creating something and that's the future of analysis where lesser time is spent on creating the actual you know intelligence but more time is being committed into asking the right set of questions and deriving the right insight interpreting the data the right way which we um which will definitely help the business all right so let me okay the, the, this is opening up i i have it now this is actually above average and everything is above 60 sister says okay so i want you to try it out you know have a list in case you need access to this particular exe file that i'm using i'm just going to put it in my one drive and, and share the link with you so that i can also download in the video description session thank you and don't forget to like this video as well as subscribe to my youtube channel for more of these resources for you to get access to you know resources like this whenever they drop immediately thank you and bye for now